So Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a hope and the future. I was thinking about hopelessness and how we can look at situations in our lives and we can think this can never be fixed. Like there is no possible way that there is a future in this. There is no possible way that this is ever going to work out. And this could be with your finances. This could be with your health. This could be with your relationships. It could be with your job. And God himself here is saying, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, toward you, not about you, but toward you. So what does that mean? That these thoughts are being projected. Have you ever had a thought come up, something so hopeful and something so beautiful, and you've shut it down? You shut it down in your own mind. You shut it down in your own heart and you rely on that hopeless feeling to give you a sense of reality, that the, that the reality of life is suffering, that the reality of life is the pain that you feel. And yet here it's saying, I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. So when we don't hope, when we worry, we are actually disagreeing with God. When you don't plan your life in such a way that you have a vision, that you have a hope, that you have a future, you're disagreeing with God. You are disagreeing with the vision that he has for your life. And one of the things that I found myself saying recently, and I never used to put it this way before, but as a coach, my job is to help women heal so that they can hope again. And it's in the last week, I want to say I've found myself saying that more and more because I see more and more that women are hopeless and the resourcefulness that we often have, it comes from a place of lack. It comes from a place of, I don't have enough. So therefore, I need to make it look and feel as if I have enough, as opposed to coming from a place of, I am enough and I have enough for where I am right now. And what I have and who I am right now is just the beginning of what I'm going to have and who I'm going to become. When you start thinking like that, when you start living like that, it opens up so many possibilities for you. So I want to encourage you today to hope, to have a vision for your future, to have a vision for what your future can look like. And even if you don't have a vision of your own, know that God has a vision for you and lean into that and hope in that. You are not hopeless. It is not too late. You are not lost. You may be in transition, but you are not lost. All is not lost. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. And I'll talk to you soon.